Hilary Benn. Thank you very much, Madam yeah, Deputy yeah. Speaker. Let's try and agree on some things. Have illegal settlements been built on Palestinian land, evicting Palestinians in the process? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are the people of Gaza penned in by Israeli occupation? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have unarmed Palestinian civilians been killed by Israeli forces? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have unarmed Israeli civilians been killed by Hamas rockets? Yes. yes. Are all of these things and many others wrong? Yes, they are. But they are the consequence of a failure to resolve the basic question, how can a safe and secure Israel live alongside an independent Palestinian state? And the painful truth is that there is no peace process to speak of. Mm -hmm. Those who yearn for Palestinian statehood are increasingly in despair, and we've heard it in the contributions. The prospect for a two-state solution is emerging into the distance. And that's something that many of us have campaigned for for so long. And the truth is that despair breeds hopelessness. And there will be no progress until the violence ends and Israelis and all the Palestinians sit down together to negotiate. Now, there are plenty of people who will say, well, it won't happen. I would just observe, that's what we used to say about the conflict in Northern Ireland. And we learn that that which today seems impossible, tomorrow can become possible. But for that to take place, you need new political leadership on the part of the Israelis and the Palestinians. Now, uh, why do I say that? Because nobody can want peace more than the parties to the conflict themselves. Without that, it will not happen. And finally, on the question of recognition of a Palestinian state. Given the justified desperation of the Palestinian people, I think it's the very least we can do. Mm. And the more I've heard the arguments over the years as to why it shouldn't happen, the less convincing they seem. And to say that Palestinians should only be granted their statehood as a kind of favour mm. uh, at the end of the negotiations is the least yeah. convincing argument of all. Because it holds, uh, uh, there's so little time, because it holds that the Palestinians somehow do not have the right yeah. to statehood. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's wrong. They do. And recognising a Palestinian state will not, on its own, solve the problem. It won't end the stalemate, which is, requires courageous political leadership. But it would offer a glimmer mm -hmm. of hope <laughs> and respect. And that's why I voted in this House eight years ago in favour of the recognition of the Palestinian state and why I shall do so again tonight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.